Hello traders and investors. Today I will cover my watch list for the month of May 2021. First, let's take a moment to discuss the current stock market sentiment. The major indexes had some cold water thrown on them with a resurfacing concern of Biden's increased capital gains tax. However, in my opinion, this will only serve to create a short-term buying opportunity as short-term investors sell seeking to secure a lower tax rate before changes take effect. Longer-term investors could simply avoid the tax by not selling. This should create a substantial support level in the indexes. The only question is, where is this level likely to be? The real concern is a proposed federal corporate tax rate increase from 21% to 28%. In the same way over 50 large corporations left California due to their high tax rate, this policy may drive business out of the United States and into countries with more accommodating policy. Businesses that are innovative and create new technology are deflationary as they foster efficiency and lower production costs. My job as a trader and investor is to capitalize and see beauty and opportunity when the economic climate seems dismal. To capitalize on these opportunities, I first like to take a look at the price action in the major indexes. I took some profits from my longer term account when we hit this area of resistance. I used that capital to open up a small $2,000 margin account and will be using it for this video. I will start off by sharing my insight and technical analysis of SOXL. SOXL and SOXX are currently at a possible bounce level and a great entry zone. However, I will be trading this with a close eye on another tech sector using QQQ. Although the semiconductor indexes are coming close to closing the previous gaps up in price during the last rally, there are still price imbalances seen here in the Qs and in the SPY. I will be trading with understanding these levels are likely to be tested. This could have a further downward pressure on SOXL since most of the indexes trade in sympathy. If this level doesn't hold, I will be looking to hedge my longer term positions with the inverse SOXS. SQQQ is another leveraged inverse ETF that will go up as QQQ closes these imbalances. Next up is TSLA. Tesla had a strong rally on Friday. I anticipated this support level and took an entry on this new small account. I have a short term target of $800, but on a longer term time frame, it has a historic trend of hitting $1,000 on a sustained rally. For the small account, I have also taken an entry on Ford, ticker symbol F. I waited for the reaction after earnings to settle and took a small entry. I have a target of $13.89. Once this price imbalance closes here, I will adjust my stop to profit. I also took a small entry on Ruger, RGR, with an adjusted target of $72. Ruger is a firearms company I covered on a previous video. If you want some more information on why I'm bullish on this company and why I'm holding it in some longer term accounts, please refer to last month's video. Remember, this is only my personal opinion. Please do your own due diligence. As always, I wish you the best in your trading. That completes this video. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already and select the notifications bell. I will be posting stock charts I am watching monthly. Thanks for watching.